here's this movie with Nicolas Cage, and um, he is a, he is a he's a son of God. He's an angel, okay? And he really falls in love with Meg Ryan. And isn't Meg Ryan so cute? I mean, anybody could fall in love with her. So he falls in love with Meg Ryan, and he wants to marry her so bad he can't stand it. And I was doing some research on this fallen angel idea in the City of Angels, and I was watching a YouTube video. Somebody had compiled some scenes together, and I just stopped right here. I just, I just saw something here that just made me go, I think I get it. I think I get it. A fallen angel, 9-11, the destroyer, the king, who falls and marries a... a by the way, here's the, here's, the, here's the imagery here. You see... You see that in order to, another angel, John Messenger, says, you got to fall. He's in there smoking cigarettes and eating pancakes and, you know, he's taking in all the carnal pleasures that these poor angels just don't have. And he tells him, he said, you know, you know, how, to, you know how to do this? You know how to become human? You have to fall. And that's exactly what he does. He just falls flat on his face. Okay, he just, that's, that's what he does. He just falls flat on his face, and I want you to remember that. Uh, what kind of spurred me into this, so showing, giving you this update here, uh, was a commercial that somebody sent to me, and I watched it, and I'm going, oh, I so get this. I want you to watch, I want you to take a look at this now. I think it's for like a cologne or something like that. You know, it's one of these that we never know what they're advertising, but we get the message. So I want you to watch this. Take a look. Seven fallen angels. Seven. These, the number seven uh, signifies, number one, the seven heads of the beast that John saw in Revelation chapter 13. I think it's in Revelation 17 as well. He sees the seven heads of the beast, the seven, the seven kings, or the, 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 the seven spirits of Antichrist. If you want to know what those are, go read Isaiah 11. Read the seven spirits of God and then look, they're like the exact opposite. One of those is the fear of the Lord. Now, I have a fear of the Lord. I know what God can do to this poor soul. I know what God can do to me and I have an awesome fear and respect for my God. The opposite of that, a spirit of Antichrist inside of you has no fear of God whatsoever. You don't care. You're not afraid of him. In fact, you don't even halfway believe in him. That's a wrong spirit inside of you. But here we have these seven angels falling. And I get that. And, and it's all about joining the male and the female together. I don't know if you get that in that commercial, but that's exactly what I see here in this thing. And we're being... Remember, who, who remembers... Uh, once you watch this thing, who really remembers what they're marketing as far as the product is concerned? They're marketing an idea, a philosophy, an image... An image here that floods and takes over our mind. Um, I was thinking about this movie Starman. I've talked about this in the Babel Conspiracy book and in the video and in several other places because to me, here's this 
fallen God that comes down from the heavens and he mates with this human woman and he has a child and he tells her this child's going to be a great tea. He's going to be half me and half you. Uh, somebody reminded me of a TV show. Uh, boy, I can't remember what it was. Um, it was a it was a young lady. It was she was the star child. Her dad was an alien and the mom and she was 13 years old. Think about that when she gets this awareness that she is half human and half God. Okay, uh, this goes all the way back into the 80s, I think. So here, this movie Starman, and I was looking around on YouTube for this thing, and I saw the theatrical trailer. For Starman, you know, the, the, the advertisement for the movie Starman. And, you know, see the fallen angel imagery. Uh, the, him and Karen Allen are going to get together and they're going to make a baby. And then you see blazoned up there the, um, the pentagram. Okay? The falling star. How art thou fallen from heaven? Oh, Lucifer, remember Nicolas Cage falling to the ground on his face. The number five, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high, the fifth trumpet. It all, it all sort of makes sense. It all, if we believe the Bible, it's telling us of things to come. And I was looking at things that fell in the scriptures. And I remembered 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 5. And the five lords of the Philistines. And when they of Ashdod arose, remember, they took the Ark of the Covenant. They stole the Ark of the Covenant and they brought it to their God who is half human, half beast, half fish. Okay. When they of Ashdod arose early in the morning, behold, Dagon was, look at there, fallen upon his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord and they took Dagon and set him in his place again and when they arose early on the morrow morning behold Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground before the ark of the Lord and the head of Dagon and both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold only the stump of Dagon was left to him uh, let's see his head and the palms of his hands does anybody see a Freemason symbol here this is called the Masonic hailing sign the palms and the hands and the head. I wonder if masonry has anything to do with the occult. <laughs> anyway, fallen, he's fallen. Psalm 20, verse 7. I like this. I, I really like these verses. Some trust in chariots. Stop right here. Revelation 9, when these, when these hordes, when these devils come out of the pit, they, they sound like chariots. They sound like they have the appearance of horses. Pharaoh was riding in chariots and horses trying to destroy the children of Israel. Think about, think about the symbolism here. I remember one of the enemies, I can't remember which one it was, one of the enemies in the book of Judges that was going to destroy Israel, they had 900 chariots of iron. The Iron Kingdom, Daniel chapter 2. So look at this, Psalm 20. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Re remember, people, I told you, when, when all this stuff is going on in the world, and it's going to get worse, and it's going to get... It's, we're going to see more and more of this Bible presented right to us in everything that's going on. We're hopefully going to be the ones who will say, this is that which was spoken by the prophets. That should not cause us to go, ah, I can't handle this. This should, this should uh, encourage us to stand. When they fall, we will rise up and stand. Can you say hallelujah? Psalm 36, verse 12. There, there are the workers of iniquity, Fallen, they are cast down and shall not be able to rise. I, you have to understand, God is the one who really is in charge here. Okay? It's not the Illuminati. It's not Barack Obama. It's not George Bush, both of them. It's not uh, the Pope. It's not the, the, the what, whoever. It's not them. God is the one who's in charge. He's got, he's, he got the whole.